Welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at finishing off the Bradley and BMP3 build so we'll just get straight into it. Um, first thing I'll do is I'm going to do a wash over the vehicles and I'm going to use tan earth as the colour. I'll just put a little bit on the palette and then I'll quickly zoom out and the brush is up here to the right of the screen there's a little bit of water in this tray here a little bit of water bring it across a little bit of that color and then I'm just gonna brush that over the over the model it's gonna give us that uh, wash look that, that like it's a little bit muddy That looks like a lot, but that will thin out and dry a bit lighter and leave us with a, with a bit of a wash across it. If you think you got too much on there, just drag a bit off with your brush. But that will come up all right. And I'll do the same with this one it's just to highlight some of those areas on the model and after once these dry we'll give them a little dry brush that's why I'm doing this mud effect first you can also add a little bit through the tracks A little bit thicker through the tracks. Just gives it that that muddy, dusty, dirty look. That's the two. Then we'll have a look at the other ones after because I've done some off-camera builds. Now I'm not doing that mud effect on the Bradleys because I want them for the Gulf War style um, wargaming. So what we're going to use is this Ordnance Shade which is a uh, wash anyway. So I'll just put a little bit of that on the palette and if it thinks a little bit too dark you can always water this down too. And that's from that Soviet box set that we unboxed on one of the other videos on the channel. So, um, you can see the one on the left had a little bit of it put on, and this one here um, hasn't had it, hasn't had any. So we'll just run that across it, and it's really just bringing out the same as the BMPs, bringing out some of those lines, some of those details. Just trying to highlight a few areas across the vehicle and the Gulf War been pretty dirty with with oil I want that oily look so that's that the mud wash on the vehicles My next colour will be on the Bradleys and I'm just using a blue again and I just want to drop a blue because I want to just highlight the front headlights on the vehicle so I just want that tiny drop of blue and the brush I'm using for all this at the moment is that zero. And this could be done with the the number five brush, uh, number five zero brush too. So I just want to put a little bit of paint just on where those headlights are. And I'm going a different blue to what I did the vision ports. So it's going to stand out a bit. So a little bit of blue on that one as well. BMPs, you don't really have that 
Uh, they're too small. You can't really see it on them. So I'll give it a miss for them. Then I'm going to change to the 5-0 brush and Bradley's again. Bring the Bradley's back. And this time I'm just using an orange. So any of the any of the orange colours and that's to just to put the indicators on. Um, I mentioned it in another video. Most, most, especially US vehicles, Australian, uh, British, European, are uh, road registrable. So we're just giving a dash of orange on there, just to make it look like, look like it's got a set of headlights and some indicators or blinkers, um, turning signal lights. So we'll just put that on there, just a little bit of a feature. You could do it on the back, but the model doesn't really show them on the back. So you get them on the front, all right, but not really on the back. So tiny drop of orange, and I'll do the off-camera ones as well with the same colours. Then I'm going to use tan yellow across all the models. And tan yellow is my dry brush colour. So I'll put a little bit of tan yellow in the, in the palette. And I'll zoom out just so you can see the, the palette there. And with that tan yellow, you can just see it here off to the right. I just touch the bristles in it and then I brush it down and out. So I tap in there, brush it down and out on this long part of the tray. And then what I do is just pick up a model. It's a bit of zoomed in maybe and I'll just brush that across it and it will really just lift any spots that stand out. You can see that's lifted those spots a bit. So comparison to that one, you can see it's just lifted some spots, just highlighted a few little spots and you can go down the sides with that as well to get that, that dust look. So you can see there it's picked up some of the some of the finer details so I'll just do that across all the vehicles I'll try not to paint the barrels but if you do you can touch them up so just give it a little bit of a little bit of a highlight like that and the other Bradley same thing if you think you got too much on your brush go down the sides you know it's gonna just give it a little bit of color across the sides and highlight a few areas and we'll just highlight them like that and after we'll have a look at them all together and the BMPs are the same I'll just go down the side first so you can see it's got the dark brown behind it the mud look and then that sort of lighter mud look and these guys been darker color you're gonna notice it more on these vehicles that that stand out little features because they are dark so i'll get a little bit more on there and then i'll compare it to the other one i've got here so it's given that so you can see the one on the right has uh, just that mud wash through it that i did and then no highlights and the one on the left has that just dry brush across it just to give it a little bit of extra color and just highlight some of those areas so do the same thing with this guy and i'm just using any old brush that's just got uh big thick bristles on it like it's not a it's not a designated sort of brush or purpose bought brush for dry brushing although you can get them and i'll try and get some this is just a just a brush for that i had spare so i'll call them done bmp3s um that's good enough for for wargaming plus the bradley's and i'll quickly zoom out over here in the corner we've got three that we did off camera, uh, the Bradleys, and three 
and I'll zoom back in and um, yeah there's there's the three off camera so you can see what they look like or what they will look like when they're on the tabletop so it's giving them a, a nice bit of color and you know it's only a, a few step process to get them to this stage you could do it in a couple of days you know, fix them up prime them initial color then some minor detail highlights and um, considered considered good enough for wargaming I think um, I hope you like that tutorial those video uh, those um, builds and we'll do more GHQ stuff and we'll definitely come back to Bradley's and BMP3's and do a different color scheme again in another video but um, thank you very much for watching thanks for your support